Good morning, it's Thursday, December 22nd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, There Comes a Time, and our scripture is Revelation chapter 22, where the beloved Apostle John writes, Then the angel said to me, Everything you have heard and seen is trustworthy and true. The Lord God, who inspires his prophets, has sent his angel to tell his servants what will happen soon. All faith is birthed from the perch of unbelief. What that perch seems to an observer, whether it be hatred, fear, ignorance, or arrogance, makes little difference. It remains the absence of faith, which is unbelief. When our oldest grandchild was six, she had a grand time swimming in our pool. She could not, however, bring herself to plunge into the water. It was always a baby steps kind of process. Toes first, then ankles, shins, and so on. The head never got more than half wet. Most of my time in the water on those lazy, hot Florida afternoons was spent encouraging her to take a leap into my arms from the pool deck. There were plenty of false starts. Five steps back to gain speed, begin the run, and screech to a halt just short of the pool's edge. But one day it finally happened. Chelsea worked up her courage, threw caution to the wind, and jumped a perfect cannonball down to the depths below. When she bobbed up to the surface, she shook the water from her eyes and proclaimed like a town crier, Well, that was an experience! Whether faith comes like an unexpected lightning bolt flashing into existence to obliterate all else in its path, or in increments like a hardly observable changing of the tide, faith must take its first breath at some point. There comes a time when unbelief becomes trust. A line is crossed. False starts become certain leaps. That which was questioned becomes trusted, and faith is born a reality. God instructed the beloved Apostle John to end Scripture's revelation with that assurance. What you've seen and heard is trustworthy. All the words of Moses from Genesis to Deuteronomy and the chroniclers of Israel from the judges to kings and the poets of Psalms and Proverbs to the prophets of minor and major days as well as the gospel and epistle writers down to the very final invitation to take the leap of faith in the one who stands at the door knocking. Every bit of it is trustworthy and true. And every bit of it will change your life from agonizing unbelief to assurance unlimited. It simply requires letting go of the perch. For you today, if you've taken that leap of faith from the perch of unbelief, you know the strength of the Savior's arms. Like Chelsea's first leap into the water, there were many more to come, with confidence growing each time. If you've never leaped beyond your belief, you've not experienced even the baby steps of the adventure God has planned for your life. Many starts, many screeches to a halt, just short of getting wet. What are you waiting for? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.